We all have at least one. It's a place beyond our own skin where we've had some insight, where we've seen things differently for the first time, kind of like a mini epiphany. And it exists beyond us, it exists without us, and these, but these flashes uh, offer new perspectives, new ways of thinking about things. The places vary a lot, uh, the insights vary a lot, and the ways we try to share those insights with others varies as widely as the human race itself. These flashes may come from a hike in the mountain, a stroll in the park, or more importantly, from reading a poem by someone who has walked in ahead of us. What's important is that they be shared. That's what we're after in this film, and others that we hope will come after it, set in new landscapes and other places. We want to share some of those moments when a writer has had a spark of the imagination, a tease of what's out there, and we often look past or over and yet should stop to consider. One Pulitzer Prize winning author, the Kiowa writer, Ann Scott Mamadi, put it long ago, once in his life, a man ought to concentrate his mind upon the remembered earth, I believe. He ought to give himself up to a particular landscape in his experience, to look at it from as many angles as he can, to wonder about it, to dwell upon it. He ought to imagine that he touches it with his hands at every season and listens to the sounds that are made upon it. He ought to imagine the creatures that are there and all the faintest motions in the wind. He ought to recollect the glare of noon and all the colors of dawn and dusk. Right Place will take a long, close look at one region from multiple points of view as expressed by several writers, from poets, and historians, novelists, and over a long period of time. It's a region comprised of so many climatic zones and ecosystems, from expansive coastal rainforests to sweeping high deserts, from alpine panoramas to wide, high plateaus and fertile river valleys. It has an abundance of impressive images to move one's emotions and stir one's imaginations. This is not going to be a coffee table picture book or a bank calendar. Well, pretty, these types of images are everywhere and we're still in environmental trouble. Right Place will give us panoramas, but these will be balanced by close-ups of places many people don't stop to consider as they walk through their world. These are places where the primal, absolutely crucial business of the world happens. These are places where fish spawn, mosses grow, animals forage. This is where air is renewed and where much, much can be lost. We need your help to finish this project, to bring these places and the beauty of language that has come from them to a wide audience, to help them see it from a new perspective at all seasons, to touch it with their hands, and to understand what can be lost if we are negligent, if we don't cherish these places and the language, the words, the literature that has come from it. We need your help. Please consider supporting this project, and thanks.